following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, I posted a chart here now. You'll notice this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, okay? Now, that one was making a 78% level, and this also was setting. Now, look what's interesting about this chart, folks. This sets up an ABCD, and look at the far right up there at the top where that uh, little box, the little red box is, the high of the day was supposed to be. Uh, th uh, th three, I oh, forget the first numbers, three, three six nine no three nine nine or three nine three nine two four six i think that's what it was the high was three nine two four four or something like that it was within a couple pennies and uh, we backed off about 150 th pips from there but doesn't mean very much at all i guess today with all the news that's coming out but let me walk through these charts because uh to me they're they're that important the reason why is that they give you an indication that these markets uh they do follow the patterns that they're supposed to be following. So we looked at the NASDAQ, and then we looked at the Dow Jones, and, S the, and then let's now look at the S&P 500, because the difference is, if you'll notice here, we'll get this, get this one up, and then we'll talk about it for just a second here. Get the screen to share. Oh, boy, this thing is not an easy thing to do, but we're good or done here. Okay, now you'll notice here that the E-mini S&P took out this low right here, from the eighth, okay? The NASDAQ, when it took out this low here, was taking out the low of the 24th of February, folks. And look, at you can see what the big rally that we've had here. I mean, this has been a, it has been a very, very strong rally, as you should. When you have the premier of China come out and say things are gonna stop going down, they're probably gonna stop going down. Let's just take a look here. At least people think they will, and that's the main thing. All right, let's move on here uh, to the next one that I wanted to cover that's important. Okay, now, if you'll remember, we talked about the, the Hang Seng Index. Let me get this up here so we make sure that we get this. Uh, here we are. Well, I've got so many charts today, folks. With Jeff Huge as our guest today, we've really got a bundle of things to uh, to look at, and we want to watch it. But uh, this is the main thing to uh, pay very, very close attention to here. Uh, let's get this up here so we can see it. This is what we're watching here. Now, take a look at this one, folks. This was the – if we and we talked about this yesterday. Oh, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Oh, man, alive. Okay, it's disappeared on me again. All right, here it's coming back now. It's coming back. All right, I think we're okay. Boy, oh boy, I should have my eight-year-old grandson here. He could certainly help me with that. Uh, the screen. No, no. All right, sorry, boys and girls. Give me a second here. I've got to. I've got to redo this because it's just not coming up the way that I want it to. All right, just give me a second here. Get this up here. I go to screen, change windows. Now we're in business. Okay, here we go. Okay, here was a chart showing the, uh, I want you to look at the, the box up here. You see this box? This is a monthly chart. And you see this ABCD pattern that's right here. We talked about that yesterday. Okay, now I want you to, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it the way we do it at Ensign, at Ensign Software so that you'll be able to see what this chart actually looks like. Up close. We did this yesterday, but just to re I'm repeating it because so many people ask me, you know, why why I was looking at all this stuff all at one time. And basically, what I was doing was I was trying to make a case for uh, maybe there's going to be some type of a rally in here. We showed Alibaba, you know, going below 70, and of course, you know, what Joe DiNapoli said he was he wanted to buy it at 69. He told us that five weeks ago, and so there's your look at that perfect ABCD to the exact tick, folks. That's a monthly chart, a little below the 618, but the ABCD is right on the money, and we've had a tiny bit of a rally here. Now, let's just take a look at what that rally did. We're going to bring it up here just to show you what a 20% rally looks like in a day because we don't see those. Hold on just a second here. I've got to do this a little bit differently. 
because I'm learning to do this the best way that I can, which sometimes is not as easy. Okay, here we go. Now, here is what this rally looked like. We went down to a little bit below, right around that 18 level, and we went up to 2020. Now, we've had a huge rally here. That's mainly because, you know, it was up about 2 or 3%. And then when the when the premier came out and said, uh, Xi Jinping said, you know, I'm not going to let this market go down. Well, um, they started to take it up. I'm not going to remind you what happened in 1929 when uh, I'm not going to tell you who these people are because anyway, uh, let's just move on to. Well, I'll tell you this. Well, I, I don't want to waste any time because I got I got too much to go. Let me show you why this was important from a perspective of what we look at. OK, we know the market. We know the market took off on all these things. So let's just look at the first one here. This is going to be the. Uh, this is going to be the Dow Jones Industrial Average after we started trading in the morning, after it started. And I want you to see what happened. We had this low. This was the low at 1.30 in the morning. Here was the opening right after the open. We backed off to the 3.82 to the exact tick at 2,940, okay? The, the, the 3.82 was 2,935, and from there we kept going higher. We're going to be right back to the charts. And then we'll uh, move on with Jeff Hughes later. He's got some great charts today, folks, as he always. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618.
Okay, folks, I have to go through these charts relatively quickly this morning because we have Jeff on the line. He's got some really incredible charts to show us. I think they're going to really like them. If you want a, if you want a video of what I did with all these charts, if you'll just email me at uh, LarryPesavento at gmail dot. Nope. No, you want to. You want to do? Let's do it the other way. Larry at tradingtutor.com. Send it to Larry at tradingtutor.com, and I'll send you the video that I sent out last night, outlining uh, how all these things were lining up. In my opinion, of course, and it has all the charts uh, included with it, so you'll be able to see that as it goes through. But you'll notice here on the gold, we had the big high up here, the ABCD. We made a perfect ABCD to the downside yesterday at uh, 1908. Uh, we bought that at 1911. It rallied up to 1930. We put our stop at break even last night in the middle of the night. And we got stopped out early this morning here at break even. We were standing aside with the Fed coming in here. My assumption is that right after the Fed comes out, gold's going to have one heck of a rally. But that's my opinion and that, you know, how much that can be worth. So that's what we're watching now. Uh, we looked at the same thing in some of these other markets, and they were not acting nearly as bullish as they should be. The second one, of course, was looking at the silver market, and I think they're going to be okay eventually, but I'm not sure. The, the Fed is between a rock and a hard place, folks. I mean, they, they really are. Uh, they're going to have to really figure out how to pull some rabbits out of that, and they usually do. So I'm not, I'm not continuing, I'm not worrying about the Fed at all. But anyway, that's what the silver market looks like. So we have to stand aside. And this, this is all about how much money you don't want to risk, folks, and and I really think that's important. And here, here's one. You want to talk about something real easy, folks? I talk about this every day, but frankly, I understand that most people, you know, they they don't really care what I do. It's okay, I understand that. But this is something that you really ought to pay attention attention to, especially if you do any, any interday trading at all. Look at crude oil over the last few days, folks. Look at this. 382, 382, 382, and this one here was 382 this morning before it started to break. I mean, if you don't start looking at that, folks, I mean, it's free. I mean, I should have charged $10,000 for this system. I know people, John Carter and Larry Williams and those guys would charge ten grand for something like that, but you've got it free. The problem is you've got to be able to do it yourself. And that's the main thing. And look, look at this one here, folks. This is after the top was made in the uh, in the crude oil. Look what this is. I, when I do my next video, or, you know, my day trading thing sometime this year, whenever it is, maybe summer, fall, I'm not sure when. But uh, I'm going to show you the real intricacies of how to do that 382. There's a couple little tricks that were given to me by our friends over in Switzerland, and I, I think you're in which they told me to share, which I will. And I'm going to do that during the live trading thing that uh, that we want to do. Now, we have a really cool chart here from our friend Jeff over in um, Philadelphia. He was uh, he was pointing out. Let me get this up here. It's re it's related to the euro. And I wanted to show you this because it's really interesting. But this is remember now, folks, this is a 15 minute chart. But what it's doing, it's showing how these patterns work because they work the same thing on the uh, Smaller time frame, but there, there's your pattern here. You can see you have a beautiful head and shoulders pattern that's uh, just set up perfectly. It's not a one, three, five because there's no harmony between one, three, and five. There's too short of a distance here. If the distance were equal, it would be a one, three, five. But this is a head and shoulders, head, left shoulder higher than the right shoulder, exactly at the 61% retracement, set up beautifully. Okay, now when that happened, I'd sent this out when it was here. OK, and then when it got to here with the two hundred fifty dollar profit, I it's emailed out and I said, look, put your stop at break even, you know, don't mess around with it because you've made 200 points. It's a uh, and it could go a lot lower. We don't know. But you don't want to risk anymore once you've got a two hundred dollar profit. The reason why it's a 15 minute chart, if that was a daily, I wouldn't even have bothered with it. But because it was that I had, uh, you know, on that shorter time frame, I wanted to be able to show you. And let me let me just give you a heads up of what happened here. Most of you that follow the euro would already know, but uh, that turned out to be a break-even trade because the thing just exploded. It went all the way up and matched the top uh, that it had before. So that's how active these markets are. I mean, they're really jumpy. 
And this thing is it's all based on risk control. If you're trading a 15 minute chart, don't go jumping back and forth between the 30 minute and hourly and a daily. Stay on that 15 minute chart because that that's the one you put the trade on. That's the one which you got to manage your risk on. You don't want to risk anything more than what you have to put up when you're doing these things because it's a, it's extremely important to uh, to remind ourselves that as we're as we're looking at these things, it really is. I mean, you just can't put enough emphasis on it uh, as near as I can tell. If you remember. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about a few of these stocks that were really interesting, and one of them, of course, we've uh, mentioned already. Uh, this one happens to be uh, Alibaba. This was one of the reasons why getting ready to expect a rally in some of the things was not unbelievable, because, look, we were sitting right here at the 1.618 level. We went below it by about $3, and we rallied 18% in one day. So that that's all that was. I'm mean, just giving you the, the numbers of the of the, that we were looking at, there were a whole bunch of them. If you remember, we were looking for a potential uh, three drive to a bottom, I believe, yeah, it was ARC. Let's get that one up here so you folks can take a look at that one. There's a whole, I mean, they're all doing the same thing. I mean, this is why that market was so oversold and setting it an ABCD on a monthly chart, possibly. And maybe this is gonna be the thing that takes us to 40,000. Frankly, I don't think so, but that's uh, what we're looking at. But there were a whole bunch of them in here that uh, were interesting. In fact, one of them uh, is uh, was Planeteer. We'll get this up here to also take a look at it. And uh, we'll get ready here uh, to take a look. Hold on, let's get this screen up here. And here's Planet. I don't want to go over all of them. Well, it should go over most of them because these are the ones we talked about. And you can see they're starting to act like, uh, look, it's right there at the 127, right there, right about 9.5 is trading at close to 11, I guess, this morning. And there was another one here. Coinbase is another one that's looking looking pretty interesting here. But uh, these are these are just uh, just chart stock charts, folks. And you know, I don't trade stocks, but these were this is what it was telling us what we should be looking for. So I hope you get some information out of that. It's a uh, you know, if you want a copy of those charts, uh, just you know, send it to uh, Larry at uh, tradingtutor.com, and I will send them out to you so that you can you know take a better look at uh, the things that uh, that we were watching here. Now, regarding so another questions popped up about the gold well i have a position here in the after the fed comes out today folks the only thing i will do is i will wait to see the fed come out with their announcement and let the market start trading and if i see a valid a b c d on a 15 minute chart where i can either high or low it doesn't make any difference to me i i will look to be a buyer or a seller at that at that a b c d on a 15 minute chart the answer for that is folks by then i know exactly where i stand all the news is out, everybody's making their decision, and I'm playing with all the other players in the business. If I go in before the Fed comes in, boy, I'm playing with a big unknown, and I don't like to play with unknowns, folks. Uh, it's it's just, just flat out not worth it. it you got to have some type of an edge. I mean, that's the... That's I mean, there's always risk involved, even if you walk out the door. Everybody knows that. You go to the racetrack, there's a risk on what you have to do. What you've got to do is think through what is the possibility of taking the smallest amount of risk with the greatest probability of success? And we are going to know that in the next 25, 30 minutes because Jeff Hughes from Alpha Insights is coming on. We'll be right back with him. Stay tuned, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
you could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got a caller from Michigan. John, are you on the line? Well, evidently we lost John. Let's go on with, I believe we have Jeff Huge on the line. Jeff, are you there? I'm here, Larry. How are you? I'm ready to go, buddy. I got your chart up on the GDP growth. You want to start with that one? I've got a series, I think, of about eight or nine that I looked at that, that I thought would really be indicative of what uh, the folks might like here. So you want to start with that one? Absolutely. So, you know, Larry, the whole point here of looking at uh, real GDP growth is to determine whether or not we're headed for a recession. And I think we're seeing a real slowdown in growth here. Uh, 2021 was the best real GDP growth we saw since 1984, came in at 5.7%. In fact, the fourth quarter was annualized at 7%, yet the first quarter of 22 looks like it's going to come in at less than 1%. That is a massive collapse in GDP growth, and that in and of itself is pause for concern. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next one that we want to take a look at is the one on uh, commodity prices are rising. I don't think that's a, a mystery to anyone, but uh, what are you looking at here, uh, Well, we're Jeff? looking at the CRB index. As you know, it's uh, got a, a compilation of around 39% energy, 41% ag, 7% precious metals, and 13% industrial metals. And the breakout that we've seen above key resistance, trend resistance, and moving average resistance looks very durable, especially based on the breakout in structural momentum at the bottom uh, panel of the chart. That structural momentum suggests that this is going to be a durable rally. We're above the 50-year mm -hmm. mean at this point, and it looks to me like commodity prices have a long way to go before we top out. Mm -hmm. That means increasing costs for the consumer, consumer and the manufacturer, doesn't it? No doubt. In fact, uh, we've mm -hmm. seen hot CPI and PPI numbers recently as well. And, uh, you know, much of that can be tied back to energy and some, to some extent base metals. We saw a massive, uh, uh, you know, blow up in um, nickel prices and they even shut down the LME, which was unprecedented. So that should <laughs> also be kind of a, you know, a signal that things are just not normal right now. Uh, we put out a note a couple of weeks ago where we said we think oil will go to 147. We've been published at that number for about six months now. And um, we think if it breaks out above 147, crude oil can go to $300 a barrel. 
Uh, hello, operator. Earth to Jeff. Did you just say three hundred dollars a barrel? I'm not the only one saying it. Even Vladimir Putin was out saying that the other day. But Gee. where I heard it first was Charlie Maxwell, the storied energy analyst, 50-year veteran energy analyst of Weeden Co. fame. <laughs> and uh, he came out with that prediction back in 2008. He thought around the year 2020, we could see WTI trade up to around $300 a barrel. Well, obviously, his timing's a little bit off, but I can uh -huh. make a pretty strong technical case that we can get there in the next 18 to 24 months. Well, the way these things are in the world today, you could be there in the next 18 minutes or 18 hours, for heaven's sakes. It's a little crazy no, for sure. But $300, no uh, I think everybody will have a, a, a Tesla or a uh, Equinox or Prius or something if that goes on. I'll, I'll get back if to riding my tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, $300. Geo geopolitical risks are rising, too, as I can see. You've got that chart up now. Yes. And, and this is a chart put together by the Fed. and. You know, we're actually well above the level from the London bombings back in uh, 2005 and approaching the Iraq war and 9-11. Uh -huh. We're just a quarter point away from that. And so these geopolitical risks do not look like they're likely to subside. I mean, Russia and the Ukraine is one thing, but you've got China and Taiwan just looming in the backdrop here. Yep. And all of that yeah. points to higher commodity prices. You know, it certainly does. And, you know, the, the news that we get, I mean, it's it's really strange because what people see in the U.K. is not what we hear on our news here. I mean, they're, they're looking at totally different things half the time. Uh, and it's really amazing how the how the news media uh, just really uh, I don't know if, if they just manufacture the news or if they uh, model it or whatever it is. But, boy, it's certainly different than what they what they see over in Europe than what's going on here. It's it's really quite amazing. I, I I'm always aware of some of it, but now it's so bad that you can't even uh, you can't even trust anything. That's for sure. You can trust you know? price. Price is truth. Yeah. Ah, I've always said that. They can't lie to you. They can cheat you and do whatever they want. But if prices are going up, they can't hide. That's for sure. Okay, let's take a look here at the uh, ten. This is when this is where the Fed's going to have a little bit of a problem here because I don't know what they're going to do to. They have to increase rates, I guess, to keep inflation under control. Well, you know, we're going to find out this afternoon at about one o'clock uh, Eastern time exactly what they're going to do. But there's about a 95% probability we're going to see a 25 basis point hike. Let's look at it this way. The Fed is no longer buying bonds, okay? They're raising rates. They're taking the punch yeah. bowl away. And um, we need to be cognizant of that. It's showing up in the 10-year bond yield. 10-year mm -hmm. Treasury yields have broken out. They're trading one, uh, I'm sorry, 217 right now. Anybody who's bought a T-bill recently, and I, you can count me among those, uh, I pulled a lot of money out of equities and moved it into cash recently. Um, you know, you can get 130 on a one-year T-bill right now. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I would be very, very cautious uh, because, look, if this breakout proves valid and it appears poised to me to go to 3% probably before year end, you're going to have a massive compression in P.E. multiples uh, across the board, not just growth mm -hmm. stocks, but everything. I think value mm -hmm. will outperform growth, but PEs are mm -hmm. going down. They're already going down. And yeah. so um, I think they're going to go down a lot more. Uh, if we mm -hmm. look back to just Friday, the 10-year bond yield was 2%. If it goes mm -hmm. to 3%, that's a 50% increase in long-term rates, and everything mm -hmm. is priced off the 10-year Treasury. Yeah, Jeff, I have to tell you a story. 1981, when we had, when uh, you know Reagan had just taken over as president, and uh, Volcker was our uh, esteemed leader in the Federal Reserve. Uh, you know, he started to decide that you know, inflation had had enough, and we were getting ready to. Uh, you know, Treasury bonds were selling at a discount. I think they were selling at 56. But I bought, I bought 14% uh, AAA muni bonds in California tax-free, okay? And the trouble is they had a two-year call on them. They were callable in two years. But for two years, boy, was that a fat cat. I mean, my goodness, it was just a... It was just, it was actually stealing money because the rates started to go. And my goodness, it just really, uh, it was really a good thing. But they only lasted for two years and then they were callable. So it's not nearly where near where we were in 19, uh, in those years, you know, that, that we had inflation at 13% and it had been there for two years. Uh, just before you were you around 
in that? How old are you now, Jeff? I don't even know how old you are. Are you in Ooh, 40? I am 57. Oh, 57. Well, you re you remember that a little bit then. You know, you remember the housewives uh, doing, they were actually boycott, boycotting beef, you know, at a dollar, uh, a dollar, what, a dollar a pound. And, my mom uh, was one of them. <laughs> yeah, I, my I, my 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 dog, my sister was for sure. Okay, let's uh, let's get the, we've seen the T bill on the T bill rate here, and one other thing. One other thing, you know, Jeff, uh, with this massive rally that we've seen here, uh, someone's asked me the question that I'm not able to answer, and that is, does the Chinese premier have the ability to make the stock market go up? Why didn't he start making it go up when it dropped nine a year and a half ago? He doesn't have the ability to do much in the U.S. This is all a Federal, federal Reserve uh, action. I think, you yeah. know, these short-term bear market rallies are always okay. going to be very, very exciting, but they okay. end quickly, too. Okay. What we're going to do is we'll be right back with you, Jeff, okay? Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back with Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. And, Jeff, uh, you have a chart here on our situation with debt. This has always been interesting to me because I've felt over the last 10 or 11 years that they've been playing a different tune than what they should be doing. And uh, I think we're getting ready to pay the popper on this because we just, you know, when you get interest rates at, what, 2% for a house? I mean, give me a break. 
you know, that doesn't uh, sound normal. And, <laughs> and, and neg negative Larry. interest rates to me was the dumbest thing I ever heard in my whole investment career. That had to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So tell us what you're looking at here on this debt thing, Jeff. This is global debt d denominated in U.S. dollars. It's almost $300 trillion, an all-time record high. And this is just as of uh, uh, the end of the third quarter. So we don't even have fourth quarter numbers. It's actually probably quite much, uh, quite a bit higher, I would say, well over $300 trillion. And, you know, if interest rates go up by 50% from 2% to 3% this year, that is going to result in a dramatic impairment of the value of that debt. And that debt is an asset on financial institution balance sheets. And so you're going to have a massive uh, balance sheet impairment at major financial institutions around the world. We're already looking at Russian debt looking to default here. Uh, may, we may find out as early as tomorrow whether or not the Russians uh, can default. If they can't borrow money from the Chinese and the U.S. is urging the Chinese not to loan that to them, uh, they will miss a hundred and seventeen million dollar interest payment for the first time in uh, since nineteen ninety eight. So um, uh, this is a big deal and uh, could send some you know some ripples through the financial markets uh, by way of Citigroup and Barclays mm -hmm. and some of the other major banks that are have big exposures uh, to Russia. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is really exciting stuff. Now, the next chart is one of my favorites, and that is uh, market momentum. I mean, uh, tell the folks what you're looking at here, Jeff. Well, yeah, so we're looking at the 36-month structural momentum of the S&P 500, looking all the way back to 1990 or so. So, you know, it's a very long-term chart, over 30 years, and that momentum has broken down after signaling in advance, putting in a negative divergence, which told us, you know, it's a heads up. The market is going to change trend on us, and it has. And if you look at the vertical line that I have there, that actually indicates the seventh year of a seven-year cycle. I've talked about it before. It's known as the Schmidt year. And um, that year tends to be, um, you know, a year of volatility and a year where markets tend to decline. And you can look at it in the rearview mirror and see that it's occurred in the seventh year. You've seen a massive decline in both price and momentum. And that momentum hasn't even turned negative yet. So I think we're in the early innings. I think momentum will go um, significantly south of the zero uh, mark. And uh, we will be looking at prices well below 3000 on the S&P 500 by the time uh, that occurs. Wow, that's very good. Now, you've got another neat chart here uh, on market breadth uh, collapsing. Uh, that That's a very – that's a scary chart, in my opinion. So <laughs> – it is. In fact, probably the scariest part about it is looking at the NASDAQ advanced decline line, the lower panel of that chart, which actually mm -hmm. took out the 2020 low. So the pandemic uh, crisis lows. And uh, that indicates that, you know, there, this is not turning around anytime soon. Now, keep in mind that these advanced decline lines are for the NASDAQ composite, which is over 3000 stocks and the NYSE composite, which is over 2000 stocks. Together, they, they aggregate almost 6,000 publicly traded securities. And what we're seeing is the vast majority of those securities are in a downtrend here, that uh, advancing issues, uh, less declining issues, are net negative and have been declining since November. Uh, and we can date that back all the way to uh, February for the NASDAQ. Uh, but with the big board, it's since November. So we are... We are well below the 55-week moving average, which is even below the 200-day moving average. And uh, frankly, it looks like we're headed lower. So um, this does not give me a lot of confidence that we're going to turn this thing around anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Well, when you hear people come out and say, you know, the market stops going down here. I remember during when, during the big depression, the, the uh uh, Hoover came out and said, you know, the, the market stops going down today. Well, it took two and a half years for that day to happen, but he was right after two and a half years. Anyway, we'll take a <laughs> take a look at this one here, which is interesting about the uh, the net positioning. Most of these people have not really done anything. In other words, they haven't been liquidating their stocks. Is that pretty much what this is saying? Yeah. So this is uh, this is futures traders net uh, positioning for S and P 500 futures traders. And this is data that comes from the CFTC every couple of weeks. And uh, what mm -hmm. we're looking at is positioning right now among those professional traders is near a record net long. And that is not at all consistent with past market bottoms. 
In fact, if you look back in history, going back to at least 2009, um, we've seen those uh, market bottoms uh, consistent with a massive capitulation by those futures traders. So in, in our mm -hmm. mind, we're still very much at the top here. And uh, there's just really been no capitulation, despite the fact that the surveys suggest investor sentiment is very bearish. Uh, what they say and what they do appear to be two completely different things. Uh -huh. Well, that's for sure. Listen, um, I want to thank you for being on our show today. And we're going to have you on again in a few weeks. And keep up the great work, my friend. You do as good as work as anything I've seen on Wall Street. And I've seen quite a bit over the years. So, folks, if you're looking for someone to help guide your financial assets, uh, Jeff has got a great uh, track record. And he's very conservative. And uh, I highly recommend him. So, And I get that from Rich Anderson, too. And between Rich and I, it's 110 years. Well, no, 105 years of experience. So you got a lot going on your side, buddy. So keep up the good work, okay? Thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. Okay. We appreciate you being on for sure. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Okay, folks, take care now. You bet. We'll, be, we'll have you on again soon. Okay. want to go over just a couple other of these charts that we were looking at the other day, folks. Uh, the... Uh, just get this one here so we can hold on one second to get to where we are here. This is the one that came up. Hold on just a second. I've got to do this the right way. Hold on just a second here. This was the one that came out from Kimball Charting, and they were talking about the break on the uh, Hang Seng. Now, what we did is we looked at that a little differently yesterday and again today is the fact that that blue dot there, that this one right here, that was the completion of this. I really like the fact that I can do this with the mouse. That That's a good part of this program. There's your A, B, C, D. That measures perfectly, too, folks. We, we pointed that out on the other chart. That's on the monthly. That's on that group of charts that I did earlier this morning. Okay, and so that's uh, – who put that picture of me up there? Oh, well, anyway, this was a this was a 61% retracement on the long-term monthly. So that's a positive thing. Now, how much we rally from here, and if we rally, all I can tell you, folks – is when we go below that number, turn out the lights because it's not going to be it's not going to be nice. And I don't know whether that'll ha when that'll happen or if it'll happen. But if it does, you're looking at something uh, you know in, in something pretty nest pretty nasty. That's about the only way you can say it. Now let's get back to the Bitcoin. I've had several people ask me about that because we've had Bitcoin rally up to to forty two thousand here uh, with all this stuff that's going on. Uh, let's get this up here. And you'll see Bitcoin right here. You know, I'm, I'm a technician, folks. When I look at this, I see this double top that was here. And we had the, these are equal. Stay tuned and we'll finish this up with Bitcoin. And then we'll let you go until tomorrow. And tomorrow's guest will be none other than Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I hope you can see the mouse right here that I'm moving here. You'll be able to see I'm looking at that potential 382 retracement. We hit it once. We might hit it again. We got as high as 42,000, I heard, last night. But if we get below this level right in here, if this is the area right around that 34,000, if we break below that, that sets up an A, B, C, D way down here at around 20,000. And uh, John Jameson tells me that's Christmas Day in Cryptoville to buy Bitcoin. Uh, fractions of it or whatever you have to do. But anyway, if you'll be able to see that, uh, it's, it's very, very important uh, if it does that, because that's going to set up a really great buying opportunity. I don't know much about cryptos, but they probably are here to stay, but we'll be able to see it uh, going on. Uh, I'm all over covering it at 20,000. Well, S&P, I think the whole world would be too. Anyway, we'll look at that. Folks, I can't be long gold here because it broke below the uh, the big number down there. It didn't break it by much. It only broke it by about 8 or $9. But these numbers are so darn accurate that you just can't fade that. And with the Fed coming in here, the risk is too great, folks. Uh, it's not about the money you, you make. It's about the money you don't lose. And just keep, you know, like the man says, keep your fingers crossed and uh, see what the Fed's going to do today. They're, in a, they're between a rock and a hard place and no matter what we're going to get out of this i don't know how it's going to end up but i think we will get out of it someday uh maybe not in my lifetime but uh let's keep our cards and letters coming in and get some questions next uh, tomorrow when we come in with tim bost i'll have some charts on foreign exchange tomorrow and also on some commodities that we've been following mainly wheat corn and beans uh, they've rolled over a little bit which is uh, good for inflation so at least reducing inflation a little bit and of course the meats have been dropping quite a bit they've held up a little bit but they've had a big correction there so there's not and coffee's down a lot so not all commodities are up but the ones that are in the news of course you know tin and copper and some of the others are going crazy but that's uh, the way it goes so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow try to do something kind for your neighbors today folks because not everybody sets in the driver's seat like we do here at tfnn so do what you can for your friends we'll see you all tomorrow folks may god bless